Hi, I'm going to uh, factorize x squared plus 10x plus 21 by uh, the method of completing the square. Uh, that is where we're going to rewrite this quadratic as a perfect square and uh, th then uh, find the, the factors of it. Uh, first thing we've got to do is we've got to set this equal to zero and then, then use the, uh, and then complete the square. So if we write it out as x squared plus 10x plus 21 equals to zero. Uh, that 20, we want to get rid of the constant term and put it over on the right hand side. We get x squared plus 10x equals minus 21. Now when we're completing the square, what we want to do is, is add half the coefficient of x, the coefficient of x is 10, we want to add half the coefficient of x squared to each side. So half of 10 is 5, 5 squared is 25. So we add that to each side. And 25 minus 21 is 4. This now is in the form of a, of a, of a perfect square. And we can rewrite this as x plus half the coefficient of 10, so it's x plus 5 to be squared equals 4. If we take the square root of each side, if you get rid of this 2 here, and we get the square root of, of 4, which is uh, 2. Square root of the left-hand side leaves us with x plus 5, uh, and that is the plus, positive and negative, of the square root of 4, and that equals plus and minus 2. So we want to write this as a fa as a, uh, this quadratic as a factor. So if we bring the 2 across here, and uh, we've two cases of it, we've plus 2 and minus 2. So we have x plus 5, we bring the plus across, becomes a minus, that is 5 minus 2, 5 minus 2 is 3, that's one of the factors, and the other factor then is with x plus 5, we bring the negative 2 across, and that gives us uh, 7. And that's that quadratic, x squared plus 10x plus 21 factored as x plus 3 and x plus 7. So x by x is x squared. Uh, 3 by x plus 7 by x is 10x. And 3 by 7 is 21. Uh, we're got, we have another quadratic lined up here to do. And this is x squared plus 16x plus 63. Again, we're going to uh, factor this by the method of uh, completing the square. Uh, first thing we have to do is, is to set this equal to zero. So that gives us x squared plus 16x plus 63. equals zero. We can bring the constant term across because that's only in our way for the moment. So we bring that across to the other side and we get x squared plus 16x equals minus 63. Uh, we're going to get a new constant term here because this, we're going to write this as a, as a, a perfect square, which means we add to each side half the coefficient of x, and the coefficient of x here is 16, half of 16 is 8, 8 eighths, eight, that's 8 squared is 64, so we get x squared, sorry about that, x squared plus 16x plus 64 equals 64 minus 63. So I've added to each side half the coefficient of, of x, 
squared. We can uh, tidy that up a little bit here now. And where did I get 36 from? I have uh, no idea. That should be minus 63. I have to pay a bit more attention here. And 64 minus 63 is equal to 1. This is a perfect square now. We can rewrite this as x plus half the coefficient of, of x is 8. x plus 8 squared. Uh, let's look at it here. x, x by x is x squared. x by 8 plus x by 8 is 16x. And 8 by 8 is 64. And this from the line above is 1. Now, if we take the square root of each side, we get rid of this 2. So I'm going to do the square root of, of each side. x plus 8 equals the positive and negative square root of 1. And the square root of 1 is 1. So that's positive and negative 1. So we have x plus 8 equals positive and negative 1. And they're the conditions for the factors. So let's bring the negative 1 across and it becomes a plus. So it's x plus 8 plus 1, which is 9. And the other factor, it's x plus, plus 8. We're going to bring the negative across, uh, sorry, bring the positive across, and that becomes a negative. So that's x plus 8 minus 1 is 7. And I'm claiming that they're the factors of x squared plus 16 plus 63 from up here. Well, let's try it. x by x gives me x squared. x by 7 plus 9x gives me 16x. And 9 multiplied by 7 is 63. So they are the factors of x squared plus 16x plus 63.